Hey guys, just thought I'd show you how my advanced counter with add subtract works. I'll just show you a little demo here first. Basically you step on the plus, it adds. You step on the minus, it subtracts. It doesn't go below zero and it doesn't go above 99. as you can see. So here's how this works. We have each emitter is emitting a different number. This one emits 0, this one emits a 1, this one emits 2, etc. Uh, it's just a block with a sticker on it. So then, on each block, there is a magnetic key. Okay? And then, each number has a different position for that magnetic key. As you can see, the 1 is up there. The 2 is right around here. The 3. Okay? So then when when there is a number active it will trigger one of these corresponding to the correct number and each number also has this uh, when that's triggered it destroys itself so I can just trigger this emitter right here and it will pop out a magnetic key and it will destroy whatever number is there So here's basically what happens. You step on the add. It emits a magnetic key right here into the center. And then whatever number is there is pulled in. As you can see, that, that is the rod for the zero, or the piston, I should say. Zero. This would be one. If it was one, that would be pulled in and the zero would be out. So then whenever you step on the number, uh, the plus activates, I think, red. The minus activates the blue. So then it triggers one of these two, whichever one is pulled in. What happens then? Um, each one of those is hooked up. For example, this is hooked up to the 1, because this is 0, so you'd want to add, so then it's 1 above, and then this would be 9, so then this would be 2, this would be 0, so when then whenever you step on it, it's pulled in, so then it activates, and then each one of these is just a, these trigger the emitter down here the corresponding number. These are just OR gates, so then it pulls it up, turns it on, pops one out. Also, when you push the button before that even happens, um, it destroys whatever block is there. It's pretty basic. Um, I will revert this to how it was, and we can see it in action. Okay, so we add around 2. This one is for 2. So then when we step on it, I don't know if I can get it in time here. I'll try to... Yeah. All right, you see it emitted a red one. And that is 
going to be triggering the rod that was just in, but it, it's deleted now already. So 3 was in. It's already activated this. Okay. See, it pulled it up, and that's going to activate. It's gonna, you know, it's going to one hit whichever emitter is next. Probably this one. And then it's going to pop out the next number. If I unpause. There we go. I'll see if I can move this down. So you can see it. There you go. Maybe I can stick a camera thing in here. There we go. Oh, I didn't do that right. Alright. See how it's popping one out, and then the next one moves in. It activates the OR gate, just like that. Now the same thing is happening on top, only it happens every 10 instead of, but instead of this activating the next number, it also activates this. If you notice here, got a little easter egg in this level. If you count to 99, it'll drop some bubbles. I don't think anybody's done it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. as you can also see, the thermometer is quite full. You can only get four in the level, and then there's a little bit left. It's much very inefficient. So, thanks for watching. I am Tux's bro. Goodbye.